Okay, so let's talk about chords two on the bottom of page 32. Three great chords. These are used in so many songs. They're pretty easy to switch between once you get them down. Not a, not a lot of big transitions there. Really useful, and I think you'll like the sound. First one is G major. You may know another fingering for G already, but I do want you to learn this exact fingering, okay? So. Two, one, then zero, zero, right? Open strings, and then third finger, fourth finger. The great news is to switch to the C add nine. You just move your second and first finger up a string. You need to keep that shape the same. Don't lift up in the air. Don't do this, don't go. And then have to reset. Just keep that shape the same. Third and fourth finger stay down. You just wanna mute the low E string with the tip of your second finger like I showed you on that earlier video. And then the D you can leave your third finger down. And you just have to be careful to try to just hit the top four strings. If you hit the fifth string, it's not a big deal, but try to avoid it if you can. Okay, so again, we've got G, C add nine, which I'll explain in a second what the C add nine means, and D major. And they sound really nice together. They're used in a ton of songs. So let's talk about what C add nine means, okay? Just briefly, if you're thinking of a C major scale, which we haven't really introduced yet, but we will later, but it has uh, seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? The eighth note is the octave again, the same note up above, and then the nine is the same as the second, but it's above the eighth, okay? So this technically, it's a little complicated. I don't wanna get into too much theory right now. But if I was playing something, this would be, if I put the D in, in our regular C, this is also a C add nine, just by adding that D. If we put the D, what we call an octave lower, if we put it down here, technically that would be a C add two, not an add nine. So there's a page later in the book that explains all of these, what we call extensions, okay? And I'll annotate that here. If you wanna go ahead and look at that, you can. But for now, just realize this is a four note chord instead of a three note chord. Here's C major. It's got just C, E, G, C, E, or even, and then here we're adding the D. C, E, G, D, G. So it still has the C, E, G, but we're adding the ninth degree of the C major scale. And that's what C add nine means. It's different from C nine. That's a different chord that we'll get into later. So this is C add nine. And that's what that means. Okay, so let's look at page 33. So here we have five new strum rhythms, okay? And they all use ties, every single one of them. You'll notice in all five examples, we never play with our right hand on beat three. The note will always be ringing over from the and of two through the downbeat of beat three. So a lot of ties on this page, okay? We have five different examples. It's the same rhythm for every measure in, within each example. Okay, so I'm not mixing up the rhythms like we did earlier. It's one rhythm all the way through in all these examples. So what I do recommend doing is doing it with the mute strums first. I mean, we'll have to talk about when we get to 20, 21, and 22, kind of a right hand rhythm that might be a little bit tricky for you. We'll get into that. But let's take a look at number 18. Okay, let's do it with a mute strum. And let me turn the metronome down. And put it down to about nice and slow, about, well, medium, 75. Okay, so here's 75. And if I was gonna strum number 18, these are all in the SoundCloud tracks for you. But this in the right hand, it's just gonna go down, down, up. Okay, so this is number 18. It's one, two, and. And the and of two rings for three, four. Let me play for you with the chord so you can actually hear it. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up. Rings. And I would definitely try speeding these up as well so that you can just get a sense of what they sound like in a different context if the song is fast, you know. But for now, we'll keep it at 75. Let's look at number 19. Just straight down, up, down, up. 
You can see the arrows are written there underneath each example. And this is just one and two and with the and of two tied to three, four, just like we had in number 18. Because this is... Try not to rush your eighth notes. Three, four, one and two and three, four. And then with the actual chords. number 19. Now let me talk about number 20, 21, and 22 because these three examples have a different concept with the right hand that we haven't discussed yet. What happens is on the downbeat of three, on all three of these examples, our hand comes down but we do not strum on the strings. Okay, so let me show you number 20. It's going to go down, down, up, up, down. Now don't do this. Don't go down, 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 down or something like that. Okay, we have to go down, down, up, and bring your hand down, just like you're hitting on beat three, but you don't actually hit on three. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down. So I am coming down on three. And what that enables me to do is to have two consecutive upstrokes there on the off beats, okay? Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, okay? In a rock context, of course, you could do that all downstrokes, you know? When we strum it, it has a different feel to it. So let me let me go ahead and strum it now so you can hear it. And be very careful. It may take you a few days to get used to that right hand device of coming down on beat three, but not hitting the strings. Put the stroke in first. If you want to practice it, hitting the down stroke and then taking it out, that might help you get the motion in your right hand. So here's number 20 with mute strums. to rush those eighth notes and now with the actual chords <laughs> 21 is the exact same as 20 but we add the and of four okay and your hand was already coming up on the and of four if I play number 20 down down up up down my hand has to come up again on the and of four to be ready to come down on one. So we've already been doing that motion, we just haven't been hitting the strings. Now we'll actually hit the strings, okay? So this is gonna be one, two, and, and four, and. 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 One, two, and, and with the chords, Twenty-two. It's going to be one and two and and four. One and two and and four. Okay. Again, same motion with our hand having to come down on three without hitting the strings. So it's one and two and and four. One and two and and four. One and two and and four. One and two and with the chords. 